Hey, in this tutorial we're going to be going over how to do a basic edge detection effect inside of Unreal Engine's shader graph. All you're going to need uh, to pull off this effect is a normal map. So in this case I've got my normal here. And without further ado, we're going to get started here and right click inside of the content browser and let's create a new material. You know, whatever you'd like. And pop it open. So we're going to want to drag in our normal once it's open here and make one copy of it. So we've got two versions of it. The first one's going to be unchanged, but the second one we're going to need to make a couple of changes. So coming over to the details uh, panel over here, we're going to want to change the constant MIT value. But as you see, it is currently grayed out. To fix this, we got to go come up to the MIT value mode and change it from none to MIT level which will allow us to access this parameter here. I'm going to change it to 4 as a nice middle ground to kind of show the effect. Now what we're going to need to do is we're going to want to right click somewhere here and create a dot product node. And what this will allow us to do is compare these two and make a black and white mask of the differences. So the reason this works is what we're doing is we're creating a we're taking the full res normal map and comparing it to a lower res MIPT version of itself. So it's just basically a blurrier version of the full res. And this will allow us to get a nice edge detection on the normal map detail. So plug them into the dot product node. And if you preview it right now, the mask is mostly white with the edges being in black. But I think for most cases, most people would want it the other way around, where the edges are the white part of the mask. So simply just do a one minus node, and you'll get the desired effect. Plug it in the base color for demonstration purposes. Now, it can be quite noisy, um, depending on the material, which in this case, it's a wood material, so it picks up a lot of the grain and everything. Um, However, you can come into the MIPT version and you can change this value. Lower values will tend to be less noisy, whereas higher values will tend to be higher, or higher frequency, more noisy. Um, so the example there, a lot less defined, whereas if I crank it up to 8, it'll be very defined in some areas. So what would you use this for? Well, uh, maybe you want to do kind of like a graphic kind of drawn sketchy type of style for a shader or maybe you want to do some procedural edge detection inside of engine instead of inside of substance painter where you can actually have more control over it like at the end of the day it's a black and white mask you can use it forever your heart desires really i hope this was helpful for someone and thank you for watching the video have a nice day